look at them. Seriously, why are they so popular? I hate to say it, but they know how to play. Fang? It's true. They're like, technically good. I mean, not good good, but, you know. Catchy hooks, watered down alt boy aesthetic. Yeah. People eat that shit up. Oh shit, oh shit! It's happening! E of the bees, it's drama clock! Uh, uh, why are my fingers so slippery? Wait, what's a guitar? <laughs> what is music, really? When you stop to think about it. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh shit! Wait, what's happening? Worm drama, right? That's right. Wanna fight about it? Uh, not really. Anyway, yeah, nice. My little cousin said your posters were up all over the high school. It's awesome that LJ lets kids compete. Kids? Teens? Teens? We are in fact teens, Trish. You're Fang? Um, yes. LJ says you have a pretty sick voice. We've been playing around with something, like, really different for backup vocals on our new stuff. Maybe you should come down to the studio sometime. Could be good exposure, you know? Ha, <laughs> we're good, thanks. Yeah, super good. Well, <laughs> think about it. We had 80,000 lessons last month. Probably gonna tour again soon. Oh, and hey. Looks like we're on right before you. Good luck out there. Yeah, you have fun. Nice one, T. Those dudes truly suck. Could be good for exposure. <laughs> Buzz off, dick. Yeah, gross. Now we have to win. Even harder than we were already going to. Cheers to that. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. We're gonna win and we're gonna play Caldera Fest. And we're gonna get like a billion listens. Take that, Trant. Hey, hey. Hey, yourself. A lot of people out there. A lot of future worm drama fans. Or a lot of booers. Booing ones. Ones, ones that boo. This doesn't seem like a booing type crowd. Uh, says Mr. Never Been Booed. You've seen my speeches. I have definitely been booed. Okay, me booing you does not count. Oh my god. We gotta stop saying boo. Listen. You're going to be great. All three of you are. You're only here because you've kept going every step of the way, no matter what. It's no different here. Trust me, once you're up there, it's going to hit you. This is your moment. The first of many your moments. Time to face the music. Oh, you got so far too. Gotta be me. Remember when you taught me piano chords? Wow, I forgot all about that. I think about it a lot. Teach these assholes a thing or two. Band meeting. Huh? Now? Yeah. I just want to say. Uh, 
I'm in the best band in the world. Who? Us? Definitely. What's going on? The power went out. Oh god. Do you think it's the meteor? Probably. But this place is also like a million years old. Hey, can I get some power to my amp over here? I kind of feel bad for them. And we're up. You good? You're good. We are good. We're good. Next up, a young man who is really impressed this year. They've got talent, they've got style, they've got two guitars. Welcome, newcomers to the battle, Warren Fuck it. Twelve o'clock, all right, a manifesto, it's a way to go, and maybe they will find my bones, and maybe they will know, I'm not afraid to die, I'm not afraid to go away, it's just the blinking of an eye, the culmination of today.
hardly need to say anything, do I? I give you our winners of the Battle of the Bands. Worm Drama! and cool and powerful and yeah! And Fang was like, Fang, holy shit, dude. You pulled up a solo in the dark. That was amazing. Classic dark one. Thanks, guys. God, if we did that well in a power outage, imagine how we're gonna do on tour. We're gonna crush it. Oh, right, about that. Fang, I need to tell you something kind of important. Yeah, what's up? I wanted to talk to you about touring this summer. I just... So, you know how a while back I said I wanted to go on a break from... Worm drama. Our champions. Congrats on a killer performance, kids. You blew everyone away. In the dark, no less. Anyway, as you know, winners of the battle go to Caldera Fest. But I wanted to come and personally confirm it. You in? Yes, yes. We are so in. Glad to hear it. I'll let you celebrate. Great show. Um. Are you guys all right? Like, did something just happen? What's wrong? Aren't we celebrating? Yes, totally. We are celebrating. Dude, that was amazing, right? Fang? I'm happy for you, really, for us. But I don't think we're on the same page about Caldera Fest. What do you mean? This is what we've always wanted. We finally proved ourselves to LJ, to everyone. We're doing it. What, what is it? This is our chance to do what we love. That's what you love, Fang. You never asked what we wanted. Then what is it? Well, what do you want to do instead? I wish I had more time for entomology, to hang out with Rosa, to play LNL. There's so much more I want to do. But what about us? What? It's cool that you want all those things, but the world is ending and you don't even want to spend it with me, with us. I thought we were important to you, too. Of course you are. I'm not saying I want to stop being friends. Then why are you quitting the band? I have other friends, Fang. If all I do is rehearse for what you want, I won't have any time to see them. <laughs> you mean one other friend. I know Caldera Fest means a lot to you. And I don't want to take that away from you. I just need time of my own. Maybe you could do Caldera Fest as a solo act. What? You could totally pull it off. And LJ's obviously in your corner now, so... No way. How could you even suggest that? Um, hello? You killed it on stage before Reed and I joined you. Obviously you got the skills. You don't really need us up there with you. The only reason I was able to do all of that was because I knew that you and Reed were gonna pack me up. You have always had my back. Why are you leaving right when it matters the most? Okay, come on, let- When have you ever had my back, Fang? We've always done what you wanted to do, and that's fine. But there's only so much time we have left. I can't spend the rest of it following along after you. I need to think of myself, too.
swing. Hey, superstar. Oh, too bright. Oh, my eyes. Someone get the power again. Thing, you guys were amazing. For real. Chills. Ah, it was magical. Oh, by the way, I saw Trish and Reed pop out earlier. Ah! I can't believe they ditched their biggest fans in their hour of triumph. They must have known you were going to make them sign your face. Um, sorry, I, I just remembered I had plans to go meet someone after the show. Uh, plans? To meet someone? And? What about it? In that case, just to help you prepare. Ugh. Knock it off, you two. Anyway, if you see Trish and Reed, tell them there are faces to be signed here. Yeah, sure, uh, will do. I'll catch you guys later. Oh, hey, Naomi. I, I was just looking for somebody. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> uh, thanks for meeting me. <laughs> wait. wait. You're the... Yup. Yeah, it, it's me. Surprise! Uh, um, anyway, you guys were amazing. I mean, I knew you were good, but tonight was something special. Oh, thanks. It was fun. I mean, it was more than fun, I hope. You've been waiting for this for so long. It was incredible. Fang, are you okay? I... A lot happened after the show. Like, a lot. With Trish and Reed. Honestly... I don't think I'm ready to talk about... us. This. Not yet. Oh. I, I mean, that's fine. I promise I'm not trying to avoid you. I just need some time to process this and, and everything else. Wait for me? Sure. We can talk later. Naomi, I... It's fine. I'm used to waiting for you. I think. Told you you'd win. Need a ride? over there.
show was intense, huh? I guess you haven't talked to Trish. Nope. It feels too weird right now. Like, are we even still friends? Only one way to find out. So, is LNL still on for this weekend? Dude, I wish. I'm pretty sure LNL is dead as hell. Hard enough to get the group together in the good times. With all this, and all that, I'm pretty sure it's good as done. I don't think you should just give up on it, though. There's not much a DM can do without a group, dude. Personally, I can't think of anything I'd rather do than mess around in a fantasy world. Laughing, crying, making stupid jokes, seduction rolls, whatever. That's a real escape. I think we need that right now. I agree. But it doesn't really work if you're on your own. I guess I knew things would get bad. But I thought we'd at least stick it out together. <sighs> yeah. Me too. Sounds like you fucked up. Your friends wanted different things. You should have known that. Uh, yeah. I think maybe a part of me knew. I just didn't want it to be true. Where are you gonna go from here? I don't know. Trish did say I could go solo, I, I guess. No. Fang, hold up and look around you for a second. I'm trying. Fang. You've got skills and the making of something great, but you're better with your band. Happier with them. That means way more than making it big on your own. <laughs> what, too soft for you? Listen, if I was in this business for profit alone, I'd sign you as a solo act and ship you out on an apocalypse tour yesterday. There's a reason I stayed in this town and why I look for talent and kids like you. It's about community. Nothing's worth doing till the end of all things if you don't have people to share it with. When it comes down to it, I'd rather have people I love with me when the meteor hits than piles of money and whatever else comes with making it. And I think you would too, Fang. I don't know if that's possible anymore, though. I think I ruined everything. Fang, Trish still loves you. You know that, right? It's not the end of the world. Yet. Well, I'll tell you what, you are so lucky I already had an extra character sheet for him. <laughs> like you haven't been planning this as soon as I agreed to play? I admit nothing. 
Whatever. Thanks for agreeing to it, though. I, I think it'll be fun. Yeah. We could use some fun. So... We ready to kick some Brax's butt? Yeah. Ready as we'll ever be, I guess. All right, almighty DM. Take us away. Okay. Here we are. Previously on LNL, with a stunning and heartfelt montage, the party crossed the endless desert in search of the lost temple hidden within the ocean of sand. After that happy accident, the party explored the ruins of the temple, and eventually stumbled across a skeleton clad in mysterious armor. <laughs> Linnea tried to resurrect the skeleton, but ultimately resurrected the armor, who introduced itself as the Anima, the long-since-sealed-away protector of the Tome of the Forgotten. Mm-hmm. The armor fused with you. While also helping Faye realize something. In the last moments of our previous session, Faye, you had a vision. In it, you saw a sky lit on fire. And a voice amidst the blaze. Braxis. Calling out to you. Time has passed since our last session. The crew of the Vagrant has been traveling, preparing for their final confrontation. We are in it. The hulking metal frame of the airship cuts through the thick atmosphere, clouds and fog mixing together in a soupy haze. You all look up and see a swirling tempest in the distance, the source of the crimson glow. It's a whirlwind, a portal being opened, a doorway halfway stepped through. And then a sudden clap of thunder erupts from the vortex and sends the vagrant crashing to the ground at its feet. <laughs> oh, indeed, indeed. Final boss time. One moment, let me just... There we go. You all approach the spinning tempest, your teeth gritted. Is there anything anyone wants to do or say before we get into this? I don't think so. We're ready, right? Not really, no. But let's do it anyway. Yeah, let's kick some ass. All right. All right. As you get closer, you begin to make out a form at the center of the storm. A massive figure, their body glistening like a diamond. Braxis. Faye, you hear his voice in your head suddenly. What do you do? There is no... With the right intonation, you hear a response.
Oh, yeah? Shit, uh, okay. Roll for initiative. Raxus takes that straight to the face and screams in anger. <laughs> Faye, you hear Braxis laughing in your mind, and a splitting pain knocks you to your knees. Roll to resist. Try to put up mental walls, but the attack hits you for a full 20 damage. He's surrounded by a whirlwind of green blades. Between that and phase attack, you guys have already done a pretty big chunk of damage, but he's not down yet. You're up next, Stolly. Damn, you guys have done almost 40 points of damage to Braxis already. He looks a bit desperate and lashes out at Fay. He locks eyes with you and you feel weak, like your life force is being drained away. Take 10 damage. However, he looks pretty exhausted after that attack and sinks to his knees. Suddenly, Braxis reaches out, his hand moving like lightning, too fast to dodge. He taps his finger against your forehead, Faye. And then you remember. It comes in flashes, not whole pictures. Almost like you're watching a movie. Like all this happened to someone else. You see a younger version of yourself. You see a family. And then comes a hand offering power. And then comes a pact, an agreement. You watch yourself enter into the service of Braxis. <laughs> You remember now how you decided one day to deny your teacher, how you rebelled, and as punishment, you remember the day he stole your past, your memories, your family, your brother. <laughs> <clears throat> and hold on. Give us one second for this next part. Fang. Reed, what are you up to? Nothing. 
Fang? Oh, I'll let him reveal it. Ugh. Have you two been scheming? Maybe, yeah, just a bit. Everyone, we have a special guest joining us tonight. You want to come in? It is I. Hey, everyone. No way! Shut up! Oh, still is gonna be so jealous! Nah, sir! My dude! Oh my god, yay! Ah, yes, yes, yes. Exactly the reaction I wanted. Nailed it. Hey, thanks. Definitely more fun than the school assembly performance. You're gonna be so good at this, holy smokes! Why didn't I think of this before? Nice move. Thanks. I just wanted him to have some fun. Okay, okay, back in the game. Uh, hold on, let me remember where I was. <clears throat> he snaps his fingers, and with a sudden flare of flame, someone appears before you. You all recognize him immediately. <laughs> Praxis rises up, also transforming. There is a clap of thunder, and his body becomes painted by red light. He hurls a bolt of lightning at you, which you barely dodge. He throws another bolt. It's very immature. He readies another volley. But you all take cover before it hits. Thank <laughs> you. 
A bubble of purple energy surrounds Linnea. All right, that'll be a tough one since he knows all your tricks. Give me a roll. Yeah, nah. You reach out with your mind and then suddenly feel the icy grip of Braxis in your own skull. That'll give you a five recoil damage. Great. Paint me a picture. So cute. Roll to see a... Braxis's halo starts spinning faster and faster, and then it suddenly flies out and slashes the people closest to him. That looks like Faye, Kef, and Ollie. You all take 12 damage as a searing pain runs across your chest. Maya, you're up. to see if you catch it or totally fumble, just for funsies. The rosebud slips out of your hands and explodes in a puff of pollen as it hits the floor. You get a bunch of pollen up your nose, you start sneezing uncontrollably. Braxis wraps his wings around his head to buffer against your attack, but your sound wave rips handfuls of feathers out as it rolls into him. Once the air calms, he opens his wings back up and blasts you back ten feet. That's a good roll. Times two. Damn. Braxis looks truly shaken for the first time.
The portal Braxis came through begins to... Shit. The portal... shits? No, Sage. It does not shit. These are getting a lot more frequent. Yeah. There we go. Back to the game? Uh, sure. Where were we? Um, uh, the portal Braxis came through begins to turn in on itself, pulling him back inside. Ollie's right. The portal continues collapsing, but suddenly, you feel it start to pull at you. It isn't. The vortex twirls violently, growing as it consumes matter. Around you, light begins to bend, and everything begins breaking down. The portal lets out a howl, and underneath your feet, gravity has inverted. You rise, your feet floating through the air. The portal sucks you in, and then closes like a zipper behind you. And that's it. Behind you, the portal closes sealing yourselves and Braxis away. For a long time, you drift through the void, dreaming. You see glimpses of memories, happy moments, loose ends you never got to resolve. Eventually, though, you start to lose grip. It becomes too hard to hold on to yourselves in the Tempest. You have to let go. And so you do. You all, one by one, let yourself go in the portal. I wish I could tell you where you end up, but I don't know. I like to think it's somewhere nice, though. What I do know is that the world you left behind was saved. People will live and die happy lives, in peace because of what you all did. They won't remember you, or even know you existed. But they'll be there because of you. Beyond that, though, I'm not sure. My guess is as good as yours. That's it. The end, I guess. So, that's it? We died? Dead, dead? Like, no, no coming back. No plot twist. Yeah. Yeah. The story ends here. Well... It was a great session, Reed. Thanks for hosting us. Later, guys. Bye. I better get going, too. Bye, guys. This was... fun. I'm gonna text Stella about the reveal. She'll be so jealous. See ya! Well, that... didn't go as planned. Not it. Your entrance was perfect. You killed it. And then you killed us, Reed? What the hell? Nah, I don't know. Hard to think of a good ending right now. At least y'all went out together. Here I am.
what the hell went wrong and can I fix it with a song What's up? You're so dramatic. It's what gives me my sparkle. It kinda is. Thanks for coming, though. I was... nearby. It saves me from falling down another hole of doomsday videos when I get home. Like, did you know solid rock can liquefy if you hit it hard enough? Ah. I do now. Hey, at least when it happens, you won't be surprised. Uh, yeah. That's kind of my whole personality. Hey, look. About everything. I... We're interrupting! Hello! Hey, y'all. It's good to see you. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, the usual. Uh lying face down on the floor. <laughs> I've been flying a lot, actually. Oh yeah? See anything cool? Actually, yeah. Hey! I'm glad you came. Me too. Um, Nasser gave me a lift. He was... I think it's good you invited him. Whoa! When did you get here? I've been here the whole time. Okay, well, you're welcome. It's nice that you're here. <laughs> hey, everybody, I, uh, I kind of have something to say. I was messing with some music earlier and I thought I could say it with a song or something, but um, well, it's like, I guess I just wanted to, um, okay, look, you guys are my best friends. Every time things get weird, we're still here. And now stuff is really, really messed up and I don't think it's just gonna go back to normal but you all answered my text and we're still here whatever happens even if nothing is ever okay again I want us to be okay I don't want us to give up on each other ever I Ugh. I love you guys Wait, did you just heal us with the power of friendship? I mean, I don't feel worse. <laughs> I don't know. You're weird, but you're brave. Things are crazy right now. It's okay if we're a little crazy sometimes, too. And I had this feeling we'd end up here. I just didn't know how. You did that. To being okay. To being less than great, but more than dead. Here, here. If 
funny. He's funny. How come you've kept us apart so long? Yeah, Sib. Why do you keep me locked in the basement? Dude, I don't even know you. <laughs> now all I need is to be a permanent LNL member. Dude, was that even a question? You totally stole the show last session. My dear Kath. Why are you looking at me like that? Bang, help. You got yourself into this. You got me into this. Oh, right. Well, I don't care. Ah, oh, mages. Am I right? Even if it's for an independent film, if I never see a guy make out with a weight bench ever again, it'll be the best thing that's ever happened to me. Well, anyway, I have his number if anyone's looking for a weird time. You find the worst guys. Maybe Fang can get him to direct one of their music videos. Yeah, I would love that. <laughs> I can see it, actually. Was that mom on the phone? <laughs> Why? So you can narc about us drinking beer? I was just asking. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? It doesn't seem like nothing. Well, it's about Caldera Fest. I think Caldera Fest just imploded. What do you mean? LJ just called it off. Something about, you know, the end of the world. Oh, Fang, I'm sorry. Figures. Sorry, man. You've been killing yourself over this. That's not fair. Yeah. Sucks, dude. It's weird. I feel like I should be more upset than I am. I mean, I'm not thrilled, but I'm also weirdly, like, at peace. It's all I've thought about for a year, and right now... I'm just relieved you guys are here. Yeah, I mean, Caldera Fest doesn't... Keep me honest when I mess up, but love me anyway. Who needs the future when you have all your friends in the present, right? Seriously? This was your big thing. How can you say it, it just doesn't matter? How are we supposed to just be fine? What else are we gonna do? It's not like we can stop it. I know, but that doesn't... That doesn't mean we can pretend everything is okay. No one's pretending, Naomi. Yeah, there are some things that just can't be changed. Better to accept reality for what it is. No point in getting upset about it. Maybe for you guys, but some of us had plans for the future. Excuse me? Uh, uh, guys, it's easy for you guys to give up on everything, but I, I had so much planned. I have so many things I've worked on that I'll never get to see. What, you think you're the only one? 
Sage isn't gonna get to be a chef. Fang isn't getting Caldera Fest. Yeah, but what about you? <laughs> Were you planning on letting the cards choose a career for you? Naomi, are you actually talking about a career right now? There's way more to life. Easy for you to say. Some people want more from life than deliveries and board games. Whoa, cool it. You of all people should understand where I'm coming from, Trish. Yeah, but I care more about my friends than my career. What? You had no problems letting your career get between us. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You avoid me all the time, and the world is gonna end any fucking day now. <sighs> That's rich coming from you. You're like the most avoidant person I know. You need to cool down. Fine, whatever. Now that your dream is canceled, I guess we should all just accept our fates. Well, fuck off, Naomi. Tower. Figures. I don't suppose the universe knows how to go back in time? Mm, unfortunately, my mystic powers are limited to cardboard. <sighs> how about a reading anyway? I don't know, babe. I'm thinking of getting out of the mystic business. Oh. I mean, look at all this. And us. What's the universe saying here? Stuff sucks? Yeah, thanks for the insight. Are you okay? I don't know. Maybe Naomi's right. Maybe I'm relying too much on the cards. I can't manifest my way out of the end of the world, can I? You know she didn't mean that. Maybe not, but is it wrong? Our lives are falling apart and I'm out here tossing paper in the sand like any of it matters anymore. This one means change, right? Upheaval. Bad stuff. Change isn't always bad, is it? I mean, would we be here now, together, without it? Only half of us are left, hon. You told me once that the energy we put out comes back to us. And I learned that the very, very hard way. And you know what I think? This? It isn't a lesson, it's an acknowledgement. It's a challenge. Maybe the universe is saying, yeah, I know, what are you gonna do about it? What does that one mean? Spiritual intuition, faith, finding the strength to carry on. That's you, still. Thanks, Fingy. Your turn. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> well, what are you gonna do about it? Hey, 
Is, is she... Dunno. I decided to give her some space. You might have better luck, though. Got it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that in a bit. Never thought I'd see Naomi go off on someone like that. Ugh. Me neither. Never thought I'd see you tell her to fuck off, either. Ugh. I can't believe I said that. Neither can I. Naomi's gonna hate me forever. Probably. She's gonna dance on my grave. Most likely. She is gonna save the whole planet from the meteor with her super science brain and then choose to leave me behind and watch me get flattened. Yep, all that and more. You're not great at this whole reassurance thing, Nasser. Oh, is that what we were doing? I thought we were wallowing in much deserved guilt after you cussed out my best friend. I didn't mean to say it. I didn't want to hurt her. You never do, but it keeps happening. She's liked you for a while, Sib. She's not exactly subtle. Maybe you never cared enough to notice. Hey. Band has always been your priority. It's easy to get left behind. Not just Naomi, either. Oh. I'm sorry, Nasser. It's fine. Well, it's not. But I kept myself busy, so was in a total abyss of despair. Yeah, no, I've got dibs on the abyss. If you want in, you gotta pay rent. Seriously though, I, I had no idea you felt this way. Even if I never noticed, you hide it pretty well. Hmm. Skills acquired for many years of being the good child and keeping mom off my back. I can't believe you had to put any work into being the favorite. I thought I made it easy for you. Nope, I took a lot to get up on this shining pedestal. You make it look effortless. And you make it hard. It's hard sometimes, watching you do whatever you want. Our parents pin all their expectations for normal on me, even if I don't want normal. Don't worry. I'll let them know you're a freak too. Freak? <laughs> Coming from you? They'll never believe it. Thanks for coming out tonight, Nasser. I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad I got to play LNL with you guys. That was fun. Good, because I am never letting you and Reed hang out ever again. You can't keep us apart, Fang. It's destiny. Well, you're in too deep now. Good luck getting rid of us. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now go apologize to Naomi before she kills us both. Naomi, I... What do you want, Fang? From me. What? <sighs> Listen, Naomi, I, I'm... I'm really, really sorry for everything. I can't believe what I said earlier. I'm so sorry. I don't want to be like this with you, ever. All of this stuff, it's, it's just a lot. I feel like I'm drowning in everything and I barely know how to tread water. And I know that's not an excuse to treat you like shit. I know I've let things fall apart. I mean, I've, I've made things fall apart. And now I'm trying to fix it. And I just don't know how. I've never been the glue before or like tried to hold things together at this scale. You're much better at this than I am. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is so messed up. <laughs> it is. Everything is insane right now. I always had a lot to focus on. 
And this year feels like I've been desperately trying to fill the time with more and more anything to keep from thinking too hard. Am I part of that? When it comes to you, I can't stop thinking too hard. I don't know. What do you need from me? I need to reach the end of something before... I need to know what this is, Fang. Us. If it wasn't for you, I, I don't think I would have survived this year. Even when I didn't know it was you, you kept me grounded. You helped me achieve one of my oldest dreams. I'm done keeping you waiting. Whatever time we have left, I want to spend it with you. I want to be here with you. I want to face it all together. If you still want that. Nasser is going to be insufferable about this. Oh, it's going to be a spectacle. It's a nice night. Yeah. Is that all you got right now? Uh, yeah. Um, the rough draft is still coming together. Listen, Trish, I'm, I'm sorry. I haven't been a good friend lately, or like, at all. I've been doing whatever I want and ignoring what you want and with everything that's happening with you and Rosa and bug stuff and the future, I think I'm, I'm scared that you just don't want me around anymore and I, I miss you. I haven't gone anywhere. It feels like you have, though. Or that you're about to. Like you're about to disappear if I don't hold on tight. And I think that makes me hold on a little too tight. <clears throat> a little? Okay, a, a lot. But still. Well, you're right. I don't want you around. I need you around, dude. You're my best friend. Wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, I want to be able to share that with you. We don't have to love the same things. We still love each other, right? But you weren't sharing stuff with me, though. You were sharing it with Rosa and leaving the band. What? Dude, if you had gotten your caldera fest brainworms out of there for like one second, I... Never mind. Listen, when have I ever not shared stuff with you? You and Reed are constantly telling me that I know too much about arthropods and need to talk less about the mechanics of worm mating. <laughs> okay, fair. But I don't know. It just felt like there wasn't any room for me in your life, the more into it you got. And when you said you wanted out of the band, that felt like it was just the final nail in the coffin. I will always have room for you, dumbass. Worms forever? 
worms forever. You know what? Fuck Caldera Fest. We'll do it ourselves. If we're gonna go out, we're gonna go out with the show of the century. All of us. The eight members of Worm Drama. Hey, if you guys want to. Uh, Fang, that was incredibly cringe. And I love you. Raging against the meteor. I like it. I am the obvious choice for Hype Man MC. So... Can't roll the end credits without a closing track, right? Let's melt some faces. And skulls. And brains! Wait, don't we need, like, a place? Shit, you're right. We need a venue. No Lava Java. Wait a sec. Mr. President. Hold on. One more speech. <clears throat> I... Before this year, I had all these plans. And when my future became a maybe, I held on so hard. Too hard. I'm sorry. I kind of freaked out, and I just... I guess I wanted to say... We know. Who needs a future when all my friends are in the present? Oh, um... One more thing. Um, since we've been inducted into the band, we need to do a pre-show ritual, don't we? Naomi, you worked so hard on that. We can't. It's time to let go. I'm here now, with you. And I can't think of any better tribute for the worm gods of music. I vote yes. I don't think this is a voting type situation. I mean, it does kind of belong to all of us. Or it was supposed to. It does. You did a great job. And so, what do you say, Faye? Forty-eight hours to do all this. <laughs>